All right, folks, welcome back. This is Bellatro every day, and today we're hunting for shiny Pokemon. Specifically, we're continuing looking for the gold stickers so that we can get the completionist achievement. For now, I decided to, you know, focus on the legendaries because they're more rare, more difficult to find, and then potentially lead to more interesting runs. Um, I think we've got Perkeo more than one time. We also got Tripolet, so the only ones that we're missing now, Kanio, York, and then Chicklets. If you didn't already know, on version 101, the experimental beta patch, if you're playing on the gold stakes, then when you get a soul card, soul card gives you a legendary. It's guaranteed to give you a legendary that you don't already have a gold sticker on. And so it used to be the case where, you know, it's hard enough to find a soul card. It's hard enough to get any legendary. And then when you do get the soul card, it's kind of evenly between the five different possibilities. So if you're just missing one gold sticker, you have a 20% chance of getting the one that you want, getting the one that you're missing. And so it was very difficult, very annoying, you know, not difficult to like win a run once you have a legendary, but annoying for you to just even find the legendaries. And so we changed it now. Specifically when you're playing on the gold stake, this doesn't affect any of the other stakes, it doesn't affect any of your other runs, but specifically if you're playing on the gold stakes, not every run will have a legendary, but if the run does have a legendary, the first legendary you get will be one that you're missing, and then so that you can start checking those off the list. Um, the implementation of this, the way this actually works, is when the game starts, when the game is generating a seed for that run, It'll check the seed to determine, you know, what is the legendary, the first legendary that would show up if there were a soul card, and is that one that you're missing? And if it's one that you already have, then it's going to re-roll and it's going to generate a new seed. And, you know, maybe it takes a couple tries. But, you know, that way, this generation method guarantees that if you replay the seed, if you give the seed to your friend, you'll get the same experience. You'll see the same jokers. You know, regardless of, you know, after you get the gold sticker, you can still play the seed back and then still get the same joker that you got before. So, you know, I thought there was a particularly clever implementation from Local Thunk that I wanted to point out. But anyway, you know, forget about all this, like, you know, under the hood, behind the scenes stuff. If you want to go for gold stickers in general, here's what I suggest. You know, pick a deck that you can easily win with and then just keep restarting until you start with that joker, right? You know, with the checkered deck or, you know, I also like the uh, abandoned deck, I could probably win with only like three or four jokers. We've kind of like demonstrated that in the past. And so if you just start with one, even if it's a bad one, even if you start with something like, uh, where's the cola, right? You know, this here, the cola doesn't really do anything for you. So you just keep restarting until you get the cola. Then you just play with only four joker slots and you hold this one all the way through to the end. And so what I've done here with the checker deck, I've done some restarting until, well, we, let's see here. The first skip was a double tag. Second skip was a arcana pack. If you want to reroll for legendaries, of course, you got to open Arcana Packs, can give you the soul card. And so I was rerolling until I got the charm tag, gives me the Arcana Pack, either Arcana Pack here or Arcana Pack here. And so opening the Arcana Pack, we did get the soul here. And it's guaranteed to give us one of the three that we're missing. By the way, also, I have a spreadsheet, I have a checklist now. These are the ones that I'm missing. Um, this is, uh, I've got 114 out of 150, so we're just missing, that's uh, 36 of them, which actually is kind of a lot. That's more than I was expecting. If we scroll down here, it also shows uh, the legendaries that we're missing, Kanio, York, and then Chicklets here. Uh, this, wa this document, this spreadsheet was created by um, a Reddit user, Lost in Egg, wait, Lost in Egg's Isle on Reddit. Uh, also, Sir Hip Hop Hippo on Steam, I guess. And um, sorry, so that's you know where this document comes from, and then specifically my version of this document, where you know things have already been checked off for me. This was done by Scrubbers, uh, you know, from our live streams on Twitch. So thank you, Scrubbers, for putting this together for me. Now we have the checklist. You don't have to see me opening the collection every time. All right, let's see what we get. Yorick, okay. 
And if I want here, I could make some more hearts. I could use a death card to maybe make a copy. You know, I'm thinking about this boss here is gonna debuff the spades, which means for the rest of the run, the spades debuff is not gonna come up. And so maybe now we build around spades is what we wanna be doing. Maybe I use this death card to make an extra five of spades. It is probably less powerful than just picking up a joker here. Right, so we did do a double skip here. We did skip the shops, and so maybe what I want is the extra scoring from a joker. Also, we are playing, you know, the gold stake has the chance of giving you perishables and um, rental jokers. This judgment is guaranteed to give me a clean joker. Banner is a little bit opposite, a little bit counter to Yorick, maybe. But, you know, maybe what I can do is I can play a hand and then after playing one hand then use my discards also banner is not as good on the higher stakes because we got the minus one discard from the blue stake here i could sell it for interest all right here again we get the opportunity to make more spades i don't think that's something that we need to do right away again here yeah maybe we'll go judgment for some more scoring help Todd is great, then you know maybe I don't need this banner if I have Todd here. Now, do I wanna take Temperance? It's 14 bucks because we have Yorick has a sell price of 10. So you know with the legendaries, with the soul card, even if you get one that you don't like, even if you get the chiclets, you can always just cash in, you could always just sell it for 10 bucks or hold on to it for 10 bucks and then it makes your Temperances worth more money. Do I want 14 bucks or do I want three spades? So these spades, which are not odd cards. I don't necessarily have to stay with the odd cards, but maybe I do want to stay with the odd cards because Todd is particularly powerful. Todd is actually really good and worth building around. I think I'm going to take the money for interest. We can always make more spades in the future. Also, we already have enough spades in the deck. We're good. We're good on spades. All right, here I'm looking to discard my spades and then find hearts. So maybe I'm gonna discard like this. We do have two discards. I wanna try to discard as much as possible for York. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this banner right now so that I can get an extra dollar of interest. All right, now if I'm discarding four cards, I'm actually gonna discard like this, discard an extra card. I mean, you know, with half of our deck being hearts, if I redraw four cards, I'm going to get one more heart. If I discard the Jack, I can't guarantee you that I'm gonna get two hearts, but I can guarantee that I get one out of these four cards. There we go. We almost didn't get it, right? So if we threw away the two hearts, we wouldn't have gotten the flush. Nice. All right, we could pick up the shoes here. It is a perishable, but you know, for like the short term is very powerful. Having the extra hand size is pretty useful because then if I have a larger hand size, I can hold on to more cards at the same time as discarding more cards, right? So I can hold on to four and discard five at a time for Yorick, discarding more cards at a time. Maybe I don't need to buy it right this second. I think what I wanna do is pick up the shoes here and then go next. And then save our money for interest. All right, standard packs we don't need. So now with the plus 10 Molt here and Todd here, then I have a lot more flexibility about, you know, drawing and discarding here. So maybe let's go for spades. Okay, we have the sevens. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discard like this, keeping only the sevens. That way we get the maximum discards for Yorick. So here we don't have a flush, but we don't actually need a flush because we have the extra chips from Todd and the extra molt from the shoes. This, by the way, on version 101E, or I guess just version 101, the experimental beta, York now counts the number of cards discarded rather than the number of discard actions. So previously it was 
discard 23 times in order to get X5 Molt. Now this is every 23 cards discarded, then it gains, you know, one X. And so basically what this means is, you know, after discarding 23 cards, it goes to times two. After doing that, you know, let's say four times total. So 23 times four, then you get York up to X5. And so, you know, I think in general, York is going to reach the X5 the same as the previous York at about the same rate, you know, at about a rate of, you know, four cards per discard on average, then you reach X5 unlocked at about the same time. The difference between this new version and the previous version is you get also the X2 and the X3 and the X4, like kind of in the early game as you have less discards rather than like the other version of York is like all or nothing, right? It's nothing until you hit that X5. And then it is pretty good, but it does take a while to get there. So I think that's a nice change for York. And then also it has like this extra late game scaling. If you do have the opportunity to hold on to York for even longer and discard even more cards, then you know you can get you know x5 or sorry you can get x6 or x7 or x9 on of course here on the gold stake it's not as strong you know ha ha the extra discards are hard to get though maybe here with the drunkard with extra discards that could be cool i think again here with the boots I want to save my money and not buy the paintbrush right away, but we'll buy the paintbrush after the next shop. Yeah, let's do it. So I want to go for odd cards and then maybe I'll keep these hearts. All right, let's go for odd cards again. And now one more time looking for odd hearts. Maybe we keep one heart and then that way we ensure that we get the flush. So sevens, threes, nine, that should be enough. Here's my flush. And we do have times two from York now. Great, so it should be you know pretty easy after this. Uh, you know the the legendaries, it should be not that hard to get the win. You know to get the gold sticker, you just have to re-roll until you find the legendary, and then once you find the legendary, then it should be straightforward to win from there. All right, we have Michelle here, perishable. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. You know, with this one in six chance to be destroyed, I wonder if Michelle is going to you know, overstay her welcome or is she just going to leave on her own? I think, you know, we don't need any of this. We don't need to spend the money, but of course, you know, always bet on banana. So we'll pick up Michelle here and then we'll see how long she feels like sticking around. And then go next, saving our money for interest and also for the shoes. All right, diamonds are debuffed. Let's discard for these odd cards actually now I've already thrown away a bunch of spades right so maybe what we do is we throw away the spades holding on to the hearts now keep throwing away more spades all right once we've done that then I can discard all of these and just get any heart here and there we go all odds. All right, so currently, currently our flush is about, you know, 60 chips on its own. And then Todd is giving us 150 chips on top of that. So, you know, 150 on top of 60 is more than two and a half times, right? or it's about, wait, more than three times. Currently Todd is acting as a times three joker, whereas York is acting as times three also. Anyway, this is why Todd is really powerful, especially early on. Of course, it's gonna fall off later when we have more chips from our leveled up flushes, but for now, Todd is acting like a times three joker. 
All right, I want to pick up the Arcana Packs. In general, if you're building around Flushes, then Arcana Packs are very powerful. Flushes, the Planet cards, the Jupiter cards, don't give you very many points. You know, only 15 chips here, but you can get the um, enhancements from the Tarot cards, you know, Hierophant, Chariot, Empress, all of those are very important for Flushes. All right, we can take Temperance here for just a ton of money, honestly. I think we do that. So 20 bucks here. Then I think I do want a Steel card. Maybe I don't need Scary Face if I already have Todd. And we, we just have a lot of money here, so we can pick up this Standard Pack. Okay, we've got a blue seal and it's odd and it's wild. That's perfect. I'm probably gonna turn it into steel, but it's cool that it's wild, I guess. And then I'm, I'm gonna, I do want the crystal ball, but I'm gonna save my money for the boots and then I'll pick it up in the next, maybe two shops from now. Um, I don't want a polychrome. I don't, well, I might wanna level up straight flushes. That could be something that we end up doing. I'm not sure yet. All right, let's look for our blue seal. That'd be cool. So let's throw away these spades. Let's do this. Let's throw away hearts. And then that way we can keep throwing away hearts and then maybe throw away a couple spades. Maybe like this. Okay, so we do pick up the nine here and i'm going to keep four spades okay so we'll play these and like i said here turn this into steel so you know early on here if i'm playing this flush and it's only four molt this steel card is plus two molt is you know very not good but then of course you know once i level up my poker hand here then the steel card will be more relevant most of our molt right now is coming from the boots and a little bit from Michelle as well. You know, 23,000 already, respectable. What we can do, you know, since York is giving us so much X molt, what we can do is use more of our joker slots for money generators value generators perhaps we definitely don't need acrobat we don't need to play multiple hands we'll just play one hand um to-do list probably i don't want as an eternal let's try a celestial pack we could pick up a jupiter card here nice all right standard pack All right, do I want a red seal, red seal odd card for the retrigger for Todd? Also, it's lucky, or do I want the money? We gotta go red seal. All right, so it looks like I'm building around hearts now. You know, I, I know we said before we had the spades debuff boss, and so we're not gonna have the spades debuff boss in the future, but I think it's safe enough. We can build around hearts anyway. We'll save our money for the boots. All right, so we try to draw our hearts, right? So we discard spades. There we go, we got the seven, keep discarding. The odd cards, or sorry, discard the even cards. Okay, we got the nine here. So if I discard this, I can get another hearts. Cool. Again. All right, Michelle decided to leave us, that's okay. But a little bit awkward that it happened at the same time that our boots became disabled here. Our boots have perished. All right, we could, let's think about the hack here, right? So we can go threes and fives and get the retrigger with Todd, like that could be particularly powerful. 
we do currently have an extra nine and an extra seven, but it's not impossible for us to make this work. I think the upside of this is pretty high and it's worth trying to build around. I think here, now that we don't have the boots, I don't feel as bad about spending a little bit of money here. Also, this just base gives us plus 10 molt as a holographic. So I think I do want the hack. Let's try the buffoon pack first for more information. Aha. All right, this is for me tough. I do enjoy, I do enjoy the four fiends. You know, if we want to try to make straight flushes instead of just flushes, that could be, you know, in the end game worth a lot more. Um, but trading card is pretty strong. You get two benefits. Removing cards from the deck is a benefit. Adding money is a second benefit. I think this would, if this didn't give me money, if it was just remove a card from your deck, I would still take it. If I want to make straight flushes, this also helps me make straight flushes. And then, you know, has a combo with the hack here, you know, not just adding the relevant cards to the deck, but removing the irrelevant cards from the deck. And this is what I was saying with, you know, with York giving us so much score from just the one Joker, then it's fine even if hack doesn't do that much. It's fine even if, you know, I have these other value generators. So let's go standard pack. All right, I could add a three here to combo with the hack. It's a lucky three and it's hearts. That feels great to me. We've been getting really, really lucky really lucky with these standard packs i'm not going to complain about that um i am going to roll go down to 26 dollars and then the trading card will take us back up to 29 dollars let's see what we get um do i want this do i want to build straight flushes i think i've decided not i think if i have the trading card and i have hack it's more likely that we end up playing you know let's say flush houses okay trio you know, if we want to play flush houses, could be good. Doesn't do anything for us right now, but could be good later. I think what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to stick with what I have. Definitely this could be good later, but for right now, not really the thing that we're doing. So we just pass. No discards is a little bit stinky here. You know, I can't, you know, delete this too, but you know, we'll just play the flush and we already know it's going to be worth plenty of points. We do have a legendary joker, so we're kind of playing on easy mode here. It's not a matter of whether or not we win. It's a matter of, you know, how much stuff can we get away with before the end of the run. Let's try the standard pack. Purple seal, even though it's diamonds, purple seal is particularly powerful. We could add another nine here since we have these nines already. I think I'm going to pass on this. I think I'm going to go all in on the hack. I think, is purple seal something that I want? I'm gonna vote no on the purple seal. That's That feels wrong, but it is diamonds and I already have 55 cards in the deck and I don't wanna have too many more cards in the deck. I think we can pass. Spectral pack, I could pick up another blue seal. I could add some aces. I think with the blue seal, I'm going to make a blue seal ace. Also hearts. All right, and then now, once again here, I'll save my money that we can buy the voucher in the next shop. We can get a free negative. Sure, why not? I don't think this is the optimal choice. I don't think this is the correct choice, but we do have a very teeny tiny chance that we get a joker that we need a gold sticker on and so why not all right let's delete this king here this says decrease level of poker hand so you know decrease our flushes is a little bit stinky but again we'll survive all right i want to discard looking for my other blue seal or my other red seal or sorry my red seal there we go we get the blue seal now, maybe we discard like this. Uh, I'm gonna discard just three. I wanna avoid the scenario where I end up, you know, playing the hearts, like that's kind of awkward. Maybe what we can do, Never mind. 
There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. There's the flush. Ah, uh, never lucky. And then now, you know, with the blue seal giving us these planet cards, we want to make sure that we use the planet cards before we go into the shop. By the way, you know, as far as like, you know, game design and like emergent gameplay, like here, when you win the round, you get this cash out screen. And so in between playing your last hand and then going to the cash out screen, you have the opportunity to do stuff. You have the opportunity to sell your jokers. You have the opportunity to use your, you know, tarot cards. If you have tarot cards, planet cards. And so, you know, there's a little bit of nuance here. There's a lot of room, you know, actions that you can take from between ending the round and starting the next shop. So for example, if you have like a perishable joker and you wanna to try to get a, a replacement, or if you've even just got like your gelato is melting on you, you can sell it and then you have a chance of getting it in the next shop. Whereas, you know, normally the duplicates are blocked. So like this could have been a Jupiter card and it would have been blocked by the Jupiter cards that we were holding on to. Here we get a negative card sharp for a discount here. It's a rental, so it's already discounted. It would have been $1. Perishable, not great. Rental, not great. I guess we can pick it up for zero and then we can sell it for a dollar. So normally the way that the negative tag works is it reduces the cost to zero, but you can still sell it for full price. You can sell it for extra because it's negative, but since it's a rental, it only sells for one. It's pretty disappointing. We don't need to play two hands. We don't need to card sharp. Let's try this Celestial pack. We did skip, so if I want the blank voucher, I have to pick it up now. I think most of the time blank voucher is probably not worth it, especially if you're playing you know, only eight antes. I think there's enough different vouchers that when you pick up a voucher, the odds of you getting the upgraded voucher are like actually pretty low chance. But we have the money and then also we don't need it to be a big chance, you know, a high chance of us getting the antimatter. If we just get the antimatter, then again, that could help us, you know, get a Joker sticker. So, you know, we pick up the blank voucher here. We will try the Celestial pack looking for Jupiter. If we don't get Jupiter, then it doesn't really matter what we pick. So we can take Uranus here. Then we can go standard pack. All right, so again here, I'm looking for, I'm looking for threes and fives of hearts specifically. We could pick up a lucky nine here. Um, I'm not gonna add more cards to the deck and make it more difficult for me to find my blue seals. I will do this though. I will pick up this planet card. Since we have the crystal ball, I can hold on to this and then that way we don't get Neptune in the future. Makes it more likely for me to find Jupiter cards. All right, 18,000. Yeah, by the way, the the blinds here with 101C, we reduce this down to 8,000 and now with 101E, we raise this back up to 9,000. And so, you know, if we go to the collection here, all of these blind numbers, you know, one of the changes with the gold stake on version 101E, I said the Early game feels really good with the perishable jokers and the rental jokers. And so, you know, it's more challenging for you to fill up your joker slots, a little bit more challenging for you to get off the ground. But then, you know, once you get into anti four and five, you've seen enough shops, you've had enough opportunity that you can get non sticker jokers, non perishable jokers, non rental jokers. And then, you know, for the rest of the run, the perishables and rentals don't really impact you that much. And so, you know, I felt like the, you know, the back nine here, the second half of the run could be a little bit harder. And so what we did was we made the last five antis here, just 10% bigger, just 10%, right? And so 10% is not, you're not gonna feel that very much, but you know, there could be some runs that are kind of close now. All right, with the trading card, I generally just wanna get rid of spades. Maybe I wanna get rid of the even spades and then the odd spades could turn into hearts with a sun card. 
I want to, you know, it is a little bit awkward with the trading card. We're only discarding one card at a time. So York is not growing as fast, but York is already, you know, pretty big. And so it's not a big deal if it doesn't grow very fast. All right, I have threes here. I would love to start playing flush houses. You know, maybe I play three and sixes and then just get the flush house unlocked, get it on the board. And then also with this boss here, this boss is not gonna de-level my flush house. Maybe that's what I try to do. Now, do I wanna try to go for the ace of hearts? Or I guess we'll do this. So a little bit awkward that we have to play the blue seal, but I think that's fine just so that we can get the flush house unlocked. Each Jupiter card is not that impactful anyway. And so if we miss out on one, I don't feel bad about it. Never lucky. All right, we could pick up temperance for 20 bucks. Omen Globe, that's cool. You know, the thing I said about the, um, you know, upgraded vouchers, you don't have a very high chance of seeing the upgraded vouchers in a normal just eight ante run, but here it is, lo and behold. All right, that means, what can we get in this Arcana pack? We can get Ectoplasm, could get another blue seal. All right, between the two of these, I don't really feel that I need an extra Joker slot. You know, I don't, I don't even need, you know, the, this many jokers. I don't need Todd really. I don't need hack really. I just York is enough to do the thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm not going to pick up the ectoplasm. Having the extra hand size does allow me to, you know, hold more of the blue seals in hand, allows me to hold more steel cards in hand. And so that's the thing, right? Like if you have an extra card slot in your hand if you have extra hand size you can hold on to more steel cards and having a steel card that's like the same as a negative joker right because then you get scoring that doesn't take up joker slots also you know having the blue seals extra hand slots for blue seals i think i'm gonna put the blue seal on the three here Of course, we get rewarded by playing odd cards, especially with Todd and Hack here, this combo. But, you know, I am thinking about in the future, if I see a death card, I can use the death card to copy the three. All right, we can go Polychrome Jack is actually like kind of exciting. Holographic Five is actually pretty good. Wild Three. If I want to make flush houses, you know, maybe picking up the three helps. I think the holographic in, in like a, if you're only playing to anti five or whatever, I think having the holographic is pretty good, especially, you know, the polychrome is going to multiply your base. And if I'm playing flushes, then, you know, maybe having the holographic is pretty good. I don't know, getting this jack to be both hearts and then also become like a two or a three is gonna be hard. I'm gonna pick up the five here. Maybe I don't even need to pick up this five. Maybe. Yeah, probably we just pass on this. I don't think we need this. Let's skip. All right, we've got money to re-roll here. We have a full copying temperance, that's great. We've got the square here, and of course it's anti five, so it's too late to pick up the square. We've got another temperance for more money. Extra hand size is cool. Do I wanna pay three bucks for extra hand size? Maybe, so again, here's that scenario where like having the extra hand size on one hand it makes it easier for you to dig and find your cards. You can discard five at a time instead of discarding four at a time. Also, it allows you to hold on to an extra card, maybe hold on to an extra blue seal. If I'm holding on to an extra blue seal, then my juggler is giving me, you know, extra planet cards. I pay $3, but I get extra planet cards. Like that seems pretty cool. I think I'd rather have the extra discard and I'd rather not give up Todd yet maybe yeah i'm not ready to give up todd series here is great 
level up our flush houses. Even if we don't play flush houses right now, even if we save our flush houses for later, it's worth investing in now. In general, in general, I suggest this. If you're building flushes, maybe plan to play a higher scoring hand later, or at least play a higher scoring hand some of the time, because it's hard to get there with just flushes with the scaling being so low. You can definitely make it work. You can definitely win with flushes only, but it is harder, right? And so set yourself up for success by investing diversely. We could pick up an idol here. Idol is kind of interesting if we're playing on the checker deck because we only have two suits. And so whatever card that it picks, you can always just make a flush with that card. And so, it, you know, kind of like turns that card into glass temporarily. I think it's for us too early for the idol. So I'm going to pass on that. Do I want to spend $9 here or do we just go next? Yeah, we can save the money. So, you know, we got two temperances here, and so we got a lot of extra money for extra rerolls, but I want to spread out my money between different shops. So we don't have to spend it all here. We can just go next. All right, this boss says hearts debuffed is a little bit awkward for us, but, you know, we can still, we could just play the spades, the odd spades with Todd here. Trading card, we'll get rid of face cards. And then now we want to discard for hearts. Maybe discard like this. Discard for our blue seals. Maybe discard like this. All right, so we don't get the blue seal, but we do have, we could play a flush here. Is it worth it to throw away a hand here? Right, if we just play a pair and it's not even like a very big pair, we can use that to dig. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth spending the money. I think it's worth spending the hand. So can we find a way to set up a flush house and not just a flush? Because then if we get the series card from the blue seal on the flush house, like that's very cool. So I've got in the deck, I have an extra three and I have an extra seven. So maybe what I do is I throw these away. Okay, so there I can get the flush house. I'm gonna play this looking for, I have two more blue seals. I have 23 cards on the deck, so it's it's not a very good chance that I get the blue seal. It's like a pretty bad chance that I get it, but it only cost me a dollar. And we get it. Of course we got very lucky there, but you know it only cost us a dollar, so it was worth it. Worth the risk, that is. Yeah, as long as we keep playing flush houses, I think we'll be fine. As long as we play flush houses later, eventually. We don't have to play them all the time. All right, I think I want to, I want to continue this trend of like holding on to the planet cards here. You know, leverage the power of the crystal ball to hold on to the planet cards. Let's open the Arcana pack first. All right, another opportunity to get a negative Joker I think I, again, you know, they're demonstrating the power of having the extra hand size for us to, you know, hold on to the full flush five cards and then discard four rather than discarding three. So I think we don't want ectoplasm. I think we take the hanged man instead. There's some consideration for making a wild card, but I think I just want to remove maybe a queen and a 10 here. I do get to make a second pick. And I think the second pick that I'm interested in doing is picking up Emperor here. And so, you know, if I am playing flushes or potentially flush houses, I do want more tarot cards for suit changes, more tarot cards for card enhancements. So let's do that. There's not that many bad hits off the Emperor and death is certainly one of the better ones. Um, I think we don't need the world card since I have already so many interesting hearts going on and I've removed spades from the deck. We pick up the earth here and now the question is, do I want to reroll? Yeah, so reroll and then booster pack that takes me down to 32. 
So here's Jupiter. Do I want to pick up this Jupiter card before I open the Celestial pack? Probably. Now let's open the Celestial pack. Looking for a series. But Jupiter is okay as well. All right, now, do I want the Hierophant for the bonus cards? These planet cards, probably I'm going to have to sell one of them anyway, you know, with these blue seals here. Maybe what I can do with the death card, I can make a bonus card and then copy it. Bonus cards are very good with the hack. So, you know, when we first pick up the hack, the hack didn't really do very much for us, but it is, you know, worth holding on for because the end game is very powerful. All right, we can delete another even card. And then now let's try to, again, you know, keep making more of these flush houses. So flush houses are gonna be nines, sevens, and threes. So we have like a nine here. So nines and sevens and threes. All right, do I want to hold on to both the seven and the three? I think we we choose one or the other. If we're holding on to the both, then it's going to be more challenging for us to you know find our blue seal here. I'm going to get rid of the seven then. All right, we did pick up the seven here. So we will play a few hands. We can afford it. We can afford to throw away some hands. Okay, we do pick up the three here. And now, all right, so the threes, I wanna make bonus cards. And then with the death card here, do I wanna copy it? Do we keep digging here? We only have the one more blue seal. It's probably worth digging for. Also, if we pick up another three, then I don't have to play the blue seal three, right? All right, we pick up another blue seal here. We can play these. Sorry, after picking up the blue seal, then I didn't need to do that. Anyway, here's what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is I would rather, between nines and threes, I'd rather have an extra three. And I am gonna make an extra blue seal three. Like that seems pretty good. So I can play this flush house and then I have the two blues left over. Nice. All right, Todd is giving us, you know, like 300 chips, which is like a third of our chips. So if I sell Todd, I go down to two thirds. So currently Todd is acting like plus 50% times 1.5. That's assuming that we play the flush house. So flush house, you know, currently giving us 340. And then there we had the bonus cards from the threes is why we had so many chips. So Todd is running out of value here. And I think that's generally true with just like chips jokers in general. They become less and less valuable over time as you pick up more and more chips from your just base poker hands here. And that's also true about like common jokers. Like common jokers decrease in value over time as you get more and more, you know, potentially uncommon, you know, more powerful jokers. And so, you know, for people who are like concerned about the square joker, like it's a common joker. <laughs> Every common joker is perishable. Every common joker, you know, decreases in value over time. All right, we can pick up the spectral pack here. Maybe I should have picked up the juggler first so I'd have the extra hand size. Um, I don't want to add aces to deck, so we'll go purple seal. Maybe we'll go purple seal eight or six let's go purple eight that we can discard it is awkward in the next round here because our hearts are going to be debuffed but i think long term i'd rather have it on hearts rather than spades all right do i want this juggler 
rather than Todd, now that Todd is decreasing in value, now that Yorick has picked up, you know, times six molt here. Can I get 50,000 without Todd? Probably, right? Like if this is, I don't know, let's say 300 times 30 is 9,000, 9,000 times six. You know, like we can get 50,000 here. We don't need Todd. I do like having the extra hand size. Standard pack. Another blue seal and it's a five of hearts. Man, <laughs> I guess. So we can play either flushes don't really work anymore. We gotta play flush houses now at this point. If we do play a flush house, how do we get there? We get there with threes and fives, nines and sevens. Let's discard the ace. I'm not gonna go for the spades because the debuff doesn't really matter to me. So we'll go for hearts. So twos, queens, aces we don't need. So ace is gone, ten's gone. All right, we have extra fives. We don't have extra fours. So maybe we throw away a four here. We do have nine, eight, seven, six, five. We could play a straight flush. It's not worth anything to be honest. So we keep discarding here. Um, we get rid of six and four. Now, should we drop a nine or a five or potentially drop a three or do we just keep all of them so right now i need i need either a three or a seven basically so we can drop the nine this is a pair which is not worth anything i could use the neptune card here and then my straight flush would actually be worth something all right we can go Still looking for, we don't need the six. Still looking for a seven or a three. There we go. So sevens and threes, if I wanna play that flush house, I guess. Don't really have any other options, so ship it. Yeah, worth plenty of points there. All right, now the fist for chips. Now nah, we don't need it. We don't need the foil fist here. Uh, we can pick up the Arcana packs. All right, death card is perfect. I can copy this lucky three. We can get rid of a face card here. Um, I don't need more blue seals. We got plenty of blue seals in the deck. I just need to be more consistent in drawing and then playing my flush house. We can immolate here. We can make molt cards. All right, we can pick up reroll. Yeah, let's do a little bit of rerolling, just a little bit. All right, we get the gelato here, rental gelato. I don't know if I would trust a rental gelato. You have to give it back after you're done. All right, castle. Castle is pretty cool on the uh, checker deck here. So the way the castle works is it picks a random card in your deck and then uses the suit of whatever that card is. And so if you only have two suits, then the castle will only be spades or hearts. Of course, you know, a little bit weaker when you're playing on the higher stakes because you have less discards. Also now if we're playing flush houses, we got plenty of chips, so we don't need something like this. Not worth the rental fee. Even if it wasn't a rental, I think the castle is not great here. Doesn't mean it's not a good card, just not great here. We can re-roll. Pick up hearts with a sun card. So we've deleted spades of faces and even cards, leaving the odd cards. We have threes and two and fives that we can turn into hearts. That's cool. And then we'll save our money for interest. All right, we'll delete a, could delete a four, could delete a two. I'm gonna delete the four. 
Okay, what cards do I want to turn into hearts? So having an extra five is good for the purposes of making my flush houses. You know, it's pack compatible. Um, I think sevens are also compatible here. You know, I have the two seven of hearts. Maybe a two, I have two, I guess. So I want threes and fives, threes and fives. I would also accept nines since I have three nines already. So let's go for threes, fives, and nines. If I discard like this. Do I want to discard more cards than this? Maybe. Maybe what I want to do is discard the extra nine. Let's try that. All right, so I've got fives here. I've got threes here. I do have an extra nine that I can turn into hearts. So I have the flush house in hand. Let's discard. Ah, we get the purple seal, bummer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the sun here. We didn't hit the threes, but we can always hit it again in the future. Uh, we can go play the flush house here and then get the two blue seals, perfect. Really loving having the extra hand size here so we can hold on to five or six cards at a time. Use the series cards just in case there's a series card in the shop. Uh, the shop has, you know, gives you on average one and a half jokers. And then, you know, about a quarter of the time you'll get a consumable. And then, you know, about an eighth of the time you'll get a planet card. And then of the planet cards, there's 10 of them. So about a tenth of one eighth. So one out of 80 times we'll get a series card in the shop right here. You know, maybe sometimes. All right, I think we don't need any of these jokers. We're, since we're playing flush houses, flush house, the base scoring is really high. And so we wanna keep the jokers that enable consistency rather than give us scoring because the base scoring is already high. So we have the drunkard and we have the juggler for consistency. These standard packs, probably we don't add anything else to the deck. Is it worth peeking or should we just reroll for tarot cards? I think we'll just reroll for tarot cards. Again, here the idol coming back, like I said, is pretty, it's not useless if you're on the checker deck, if you're playing flushes, but if we're playing flush houses, then it's probably not gonna be the thing. All right, Wrathful Joker, we don't need. And we save the rest of the money for interest. Boss says face cards face down, that's okay. All right, we can delete a two here. It's actually not terrible if we delete hearts, you know, like if we delete the king of hearts because these face cards we're not really using. Though I do recognize we have the three queens for the purpose of making flush houses. That's something that I haven't really been paying attention to, but I am recognizing it now. Let's discard the eight. Now, do I want to save a discard for my purple seal? Probably, so let's do this. Let's, I wanna draw a three to complete my flush house. Like that's the move, we wanna get the three. Um, is this flush worth too many points? With Yorick on time seven here, level seven flush. This has gotta be safe, right? I'm gonna discard. All right, this one is not a flush. This one I can play. This one's safe. Got to make sure that we don't score too many points. Okay, so I have the flush house here. Let's go for another blue card. We can spend the money, it's fine. So we got another blue card there. Um, we can go, we can keep digging. What would we be digging for? We have two more blue seals. We have three more blue seals in the deck. We have only 13 cards left in the deck, so we got a pretty good chance if we play these three. Only costs us a dollar, so might as well. And of course we get the blue seal here, so we can play the flush house now. Oh, we got the blue seals, but I forgot to sell the Neptune, so we only get two of them anyway. Ah. 
All right, one in 80 chance we get the series card here. Nope, maybe next time. Okay, we can go Arcana packs. All right, um, random cards added to the deck. Nope, 21 bucks means I can reroll and buy better tarot cards than that. We could pick up 20 bucks here. We could make a gold card. We could make this blue seal into gold. Maybe it's a little bit too late for that. Um, I could make a lucky card, but I think, you know, these are not cards that I want to be playing anyway. So we'll just take the money here and then go rolling. Sorry, what, what was the boss? Face cards. Good thing we removed a bunch of face cards. All right, we get the to-do list for some money. I think we don't do that. I think since I have a, a lot of money and I am gonna do a lot of rerolls, let's buy some planet cards to block duplicates. Picking up Venus here for the same purpose. All right, we can pick up a death card. Sure, death card is great. Of course, great. Uh, JJ here. All right, these are things that we don't need. $9 rerolls, I think we'll save our money for the next shop. All right, so now, you know, like I said with the face cards, um, I could just delete it. I don't really care what it is, maybe. I could sort by suit, and then that'll tell me that this is the king of spades here. All right, now let's discard looking for threes. All right, we got the threes. We got the death card. We could turn this face card into a three. Okay. Yeah, why not? Um, do I want to discard more first? So what's the flush house that I'm playing, right? Am I playing these and I use the death card to get an extra card? That's probably what we're doing. I want to use my discards for Yorick. Okay, um, do I want to dig for my other blue seals? What would that look like? It would look like this if I play these. I want to try to get another three. Maybe, you know, between nines and fives, I don't need this nine. Yeah, let's dig. Okay, so I do get an extra three here. I have an extra five, which means I don't have to play this five. Okay, so we will use the death card. We will do the correct thing and make room for planets. We can play these fives and then also this three. Nice. We get the series cards. Get the level up here. All right, one in 80 chance, give me a series card. Close. All right, we could make face cards and we could get the money with the business card and then we get the retrigger with the hack. But then I would have to give up some technology, right? I'd have to give up the discard, I have to give up the hand size. So I think we don't do these. Having the extra hand size allows me to have extra series cards so it's worth more than the money also trading card is worth more than just money let's go jumbo first we could go aura you know maybe on a three it's compatible with hack or do we want to remove cards for consistency i think with 41 cards our deck is maybe consistent enough and so let's try the aura here it's definitely the spicier thing to do. Foil or holographic card is, you know, let's say I put this as my first card, then the plus 20 molt is like plus 30% here, right? So it's almost as good as a polychrome. Okay, so this is a mega pack. We have a sun here, but these are already hearts. Can I use this? strength in a strategic way maybe i can turn these aces into twos for hack 
I guess I've been focusing on threes and fives, but twos are also valid. So what does that look like? If I turn the aces into twos, now how does my deck look? So I have four twos and then a bunch of threes. So we play threes and twos as our flush house. Maybe twos become threes in the future. That seems cool to me. Um, we've got a little bit of extra money for re-rolling, so I'm gonna use the priestess to get planet cards. Even if it doesn't give me the ones that I want, then I can still use it for you know blocking duplicate planet cards. Do I want this, planet merchant? I think if I'm building flush houses, you know, the series cards, planet cards are very valuable and worthwhile to find. But I think also, you know, having the tarot cards for the deck manipulation is pretty important. So I'm not going to pick up the planet merchant. I'm just going to keep rolling here. All right, throwback for times 1.75. We did take the skip for the negative. That didn't really pay off. And so we've got throwback here. Um, I don't think we need this. We could take the clown as like a money generator. I think we're good with jokers. I'm looking for something that's maybe like very synergistic with hack. Could pick up the rebate here. Rebate is very powerful. Four sevens in the deck. Out of 41 cards, we have an extra discard. Nah. Emperor. Yeah, let's use the emperor here. All right, steel cards. I could use a steel card. Steel cards are, of course, better when you have more base molt. Of course, flush houses have a high base molt. So we'll go next. All right, trading card here. We can delete the seven. Delete the spades, of course. All right, and then what? Um, what do I want to be steel? Probably a blue card I want to turn into steel. We can decide later. Um, I have a lot of twos in the deck, so we'll go for twos. Discarding like this. Maybe we don't discard first, we just play the cards. Then we save our discards for the purple seal that we've never used <laughs> this whole time. Play again or discard. We could discard one time. Okay, so we pick up a three here. I think the nines are not it. I think we just go, I mean, we only have 20 cards in the deck, so we will get the threes and twos, like we'll get it. So we'll play here. All right, there's a two. We could discard these here. Do I want to discard a three, knowing that I have more threes left in the deck? I've got 15 cards. With playing a hand and using a discard, I get to see 10 cards. Mm. I'll just play these four. All right, and then discard. All right, we can discard a two. Um, Wait, do we discard a three? No, we discard a two. Cool. All right, so what do we want to be steel? Um, So I have these threes I'm gonna play. These twos I'm gonna play. That's gonna be my flush house. Yeah, maybe what we do is uh, this two becomes steel. Of course, I don't need the steel right now, and so I feel no problem playing it. Do I want to use this tower and maybe like turn a jack into stone? I don't think I need to do that, so I'll just hold on to the... Well, I'll sell the tower. All right, there's my flush house. I get the retrigger on the holographic here. Times eight on York. So there with the times eight on York, if we didn't get the times eight, it would still be, you know, a little bit less than a hundred thousand. So we almost would have had it without York. And maybe if we use the steel card, we would have had it. Ooh, ah, <laughs> ooh. All right, would I rather have the extra discard or would I rather have the extra hand size? I think the extra discard, we have demonstrated that we don't really need it, right? Pick up the bloodstone here. You know, someone commented the other day, they commented that, 
you know, I, I made the, the vampire video and I made the square joker video and the runner video and they said, oh, you, you're just playing on the white stake. And if you're playing on white stake, you're going to make moves and decisions that you don't make on gold stake. That's absolutely not true. I play absolutely unhinged whether I'm playing on white stake or gold stake. All right, we'll skip here. Uh, Celestial Pack looking for series. We could pick up a Jupiter card, I guess. And go next. Wall claims that it's extra large. I think potentially not, my friend. But I appreciate that you think so. All right, let's discard the king here. Can I get this dang purple eight? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we can't. Maybe that's just something that we have to live with. Um, we should get rid of the nines. All right, so we got threes and twos. We've got threes and fours. We can play f with the you know hack compatible cards. Um, if I play fours and I play threes, then I've got two blue seals. Do I want to try to dig for more by playing these? It's worth the money to get the blue seal. All right, I'm sorry, we're keeping the fours, we're throwing the queen. Ah, uh, there's the eight. All right, so we play the fours and the threes. And do we want the retrigger on the lucky card? Yeah, I guess lucky card first, right? So we get the plus molt, doesn't matter, ship it. Ah, never lucky. I will go series cards here. And then go next. Ooh, Mime. We have exactly two steel cards, but we also have per perfect, you know, card draw right now. And so we can find the two steel cards every time. Um, with this, then each blue seal gives me two planet cards, and we do have the crystal ball here, so I could sell the earth. Ooh. Is that better than hack? No. Is it worth replacing the juggler? Probably, right? So the main way that we're using the juggler, we have the extra hand size, so we get extra activations, but if each card gives us double activations, we don't need the extra hand size, you know? Though having the extra hand size does allow me to discard more cards at a time for Yorick, you know? I think it's close. I think it's close between Juggler and Mime here, but I'm going to pick up the Mime. All right, we don't need standard packs, so let's do some rolling here. Constellation. Constellation does help. Maybe we don't need the trading card anymore. Like we don't need the trading card. Maybe actually I don't need the mime and I could just take the constellation here and see how quickly we can grow the constellation in a couple rounds. I don't know. I think having a trading card is more fun. So we'll just keep rolling here. Smeared Joker we don't need. Uranus. Do I want to pick it up here? Um... No, I mean, I don't have that much more money and I'm going to have to sell cards to make room for series cards anyway. So we just reroll once and then go next. All right, we can get rid of a 10 here. We can finally do the eight. We can finally get a tarot card. I'm excited. Um, let's keep the nine here in case I get like a sun card or I get a hangman card. Tower. We don't need that. We'll sell it to make room for our s seals. So I have queens and threes. That is already my flush house. Um, yeah, the, the fives and fours that I have, you know, don't really give me anything extra, you know, as far as like re-triggers are concerned. So I think, um... I think what I want to do is do this. I get to see 15 cards. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the queens. 
Oh, I don't get as many activations on the Bloodstone if I play the Queens. So maybe I'm looking for twos. Let's find the twos. There we go. Uh, let's go again here, looking for another blue seal. Nice. So we sell the earth card. We play twos and we need this three and we need this three. And just like that, the mime gives us, I guess we don't get that many planet cards. So maybe I can play one of these threes. Maybe I could do that. That way I get the extra chips. Ship it. All right, use all the series cards. go next all right we got jupiter here cola all right hold on hold on so we're in anti-8 now right we're in the end zone here uh we've got amber acorn joker cards face down i think none of these the order doesn't matter so let's consult the oracle all right we yorick we're gonna check off right that's on the list yorick uh what about we need the cola so maybe we don't need the mime. We could pick up the cola. Um, hack we're missing. Oh, that's great. Um, what else? Oh, a troubadour would be nice. So if I go, all right, mime and hack trading card. I already know that I have, and so maybe I'll replace the trading card. Uh, what about bloodstone? We probably already have. Um, this is in alphabetical order, so I can just go here, uncommons, we, bloodstone is, we already have. So, let's try the buffoon pack. Can I get a replacement for the trading card? So, fist here, among our commons, if we go up here to, we are missing the fist. That's interesting, because I feel like I take the fist all the time. Maybe that's just early on I take the fist. Obviously, the fist doesn't do a whole lot of benefit for us. I've got two more shops here. I'd like to find another uncommon, you know, that I'm missing the sticker for. So I'll, I'll skip the fist here. We could, we could find a replacement. We've got plenty of money. Pick up Hone here. Could have also picked up Hone before opening the booster pack there so we could get additions on our Jokers. Series, yes. Jupiter castle nope we already got the sticker on the castle trio we already have the sticker on and we don't need the x molt and banner and business card let's go next Alrighty. let's delete a seven we throw away the purple seal here keep the low cards pretty straightforward spin the wheel nice all right, let's dig for twos. Threes would also be okay. We got the flush five here, but our flush house is obviously worth a lot more points. Do we need this many threes? We could probably throw away some of the threes. We could probably throw away this five and then just make sure that we get our twos. We could probably throw away the two and we have a pretty good chance of getting the five. Not guaranteed, but we've got a pretty good chance. Let's, um, yeah, we don't need all these threes. So let's throw these away like this. All right, so we got the threes and twos and then dig one more time for a blue seal. So twos and threes, and we got the two blue seals here. Use the series cards. Go into the shop. All right, we got the cat. 
Wait, is the cat one that we're missing? Because that could be, right? If we go L, Luchador, we did get the lucky cat. Okay. So, you know, I'm missing here, I'm missing the stone joker because, you know, that's one that, uh, it's uncommon and also you can't get the stone joker unless you have a stone card in your deck. And so it's, you know, hard to get the, what is it, the enhancement jokers. You know, also up here we have the ticket is missing. We don't have the ticket. It's a money generator. All right. Let's go back here. Now, how about Celestial Pack? Mm, Jupiter card is okay. I'm actually gonna skip here in case there's a fool. All right, we could pick up 23 bucks or we can make another copy of this three. This holographic three is pretty cool. Is that better than 20 bucks? Probably. Because if I have an extra three, then it's easier for me to draw my threes and then I don't have to, it's probably easier for me to hold on to the blue seals. So like that's indirectly giving me a series card if I copy this three. So maybe we'll do something like that. We could get another steel card. We have only 37 cards in the deck. So, you know, two steel cards is definitely enough. So we use the death here. All right, um, I'm not gonna spend the money on re-rolling. I'm just gonna go next. And then in the next shop we'll spend to try to find another sticker. All right, we can remove the ace here. We can discard the eight and discard looking for twos or fives. Let's go for the two. We got twos, we got the fives. So if I play like this, then I've got the one blue seal left over. I can use the death to copy it. So maybe now with the death card, I don't feel bad copying the steel nine because it is steel and I've got plenty of copies of my other cards as well. Let's look for one more blue seal or one more three. There we go, we got the three. So we can go, let's copy the nine or do I want to copy the five or do I want to copy a three? So currently my flush house plan looks like threes and twos is the most. Um, I've got three fives. Maybe it's worthwhile to have an extra five for you know just security purposes. Let's make a nine. I think our deck at 36 cards is safe enough. And so we can go for the higher scoring now. So we can play the threes and the fives with the flush house. Celestial pack, pick up series here. Now giving us, you know, 12,000 chips. No, 1,200 chips. Making, you know, any kind of joker. A lot of jokers basically obsolete. All right, standard pack here. Sure, why not? I guess that's why not. All right, do I have gratification as a common? Or did, wait, we got that one. We got the negative gratification. And so we got a freebie. Yeah, let's keep re-rolling here. Supernova, I think we did with high card. Strength, I can turn twos into threes. I could turn fours into fives. Maybe we'll pick it up just to be safe. Red card and faceless joker. Those I don't know. So red card is a common. So we did get the red card. And then what about the faceless joker? Sorry, that's up here. We already got the faceless joker. There was one where we had like three money jokers at the end because you know our straights were so powerful. I'm looking for an uncommon if possible. Pretty sure we got the to-do list already. Yeah, we got the to-do list. I don't have super position, that's surprising. <laughs> Uh, we got rebate, we got photograph. 
So mail-in rebate is under M. We already got photograph would be here. We already got photograph is great if you're playing straights. You get the X mult on your high, you know high base mult on your straights. Oops and half jerk. I mean oops is good with bloodstone. Is oops one that we're missing? That would be an uncommon. Well, oh well, I think we're out of money here. We could reroll one more time. I'm gonna buy, since we're at the, the end here, I'm gonna buy oops, you know, for the bloodstone. Egg we already have, supernova we already have. I think we just go next. All right, face down time. All right, so I said uh, with strength, I could turn a four into a five if I need to. Let's try to keep these steel cards in hand. That's kind of fun. I want to find threes, right? So we don't need the four. There's a three. There are my twos. There are my fives. Wait, so fives and I can turn twos into threes. I already have the flush house. Um, I could go for the steel card. Could be kind of fun. I could throw away these twos and then just draw threes naturally. So there's a three. Yeah, let's go again. You know, we got so many threes in the deck, might as well. Um, I've got three fives and some threes here. I want to get the steel card because I just want the big number, right? Got the threes here. Ooh, I can even go turn a four into a five still if I want. Let's. One more steel card, right? I have 12 cards left in deck. The odds are not great, but you know, it doesn't cost me anything. Ah, there's that stinky, that purple seal. I think I got like two tarot cards total from that. Anyway, here's the, the threes and the fives and you know worth plenty of points obviously yeah we got the um times nine times time on the york you know assuming that you start with york and so basically what that means is it takes us that was with the extra discard um, not the discard voucher, but the extra discard, the drunkard joker. And so, you know, as far as like York is concerned, what does that, what does that say about York? That says, you know, previously the 23 discards was about like four antis. It would take you like half the run. And so if you got York anywhere in the second half of your run, then it wouldn't activate in time for the boss or like, or, you know, for the final round or whatever. Or when it did activate, it was only live for the one or two rounds at the very end. And, you know, even if you got York early, then it would not do anything for you for half of your run. And so it might just, you might just lose, right? If you just have this empty Joker slot that's being occupied, you know, people kind of feel that way about the obelisk where you pick up the obelisk and it doesn't really do anything for you early game. The obelisk is different in the sense that if you get it towards the end of your run after you've already you know established on a poker hand it's not that hard to pivot to something else i think people misunderstand the obelisk i think people are just bad at pivoting in general and so you know often here with the checker deck what i suggest is you can start with flushes but plan to pivot to something more powerful you know here uh flush houses a lot of the time straight flushes anyway with this new version of the york you know, since we're able to get up to, you know, X9, you know, this means if you got it halfway through your run, you'd be able to get it up to like X5. Or it would be like X3 for part of your run and then, you know, scale up into the end game. So I think, you know, York is probably worse than the Vampire. I think the Vampire is stronger than you, the York. I could see York, you know, growing even faster. Like, you know, discard 23 cards and then it grows by X2 instead of by X1. Maybe. Anyway, that's gonna be a gold sticker on, you know, we can go here, we can see we got the gold sticker Yorick, we got the gold sticker Cola, the other ones we already have the gold stickers on. So I will be going for the legendaries first and then 
you know, not all of the gold stickers will show up as videos or, you know, not like a daily video. They will show up on stream, you know, maybe. So streaming on Twitch, currently the schedule is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays uh, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central Time. And then sometimes on Saturdays. Most Saturdays, streaming with Zeno and Murphy collaborating. All right, take care, everyone.